Hi guys, my name is Girl Gems Girl and welcome to episode 7 of Mean Girls Spring Break. If you are playing along with any episode story, then down below in the top line of description I have 10 free gems and 10 free passes, so make sure you go ahead, click that link down below so you can get those things. Let's continue with the story. Oh, we start off with Gretchen. Thanks for using all the hot water on the whole island, Damien. I was desperate for esteem. My pores were clogged from all the stress. I couldn't wash the shampoo out of my hair because the water was so cold. Now my hair is going to look greasy for Count Travis Antonio. You know you don't have to say his full title every time you say his name. <laughs> I'm sorry if my date status is intimidating to smoothie guy. <laughs> I understand why that might make you a bit self-conscious. Oh, well you two quit it already. We all have dates tonight. We should be celebrating, not fighting. I'm really excited to spend more time with Justin. I would be too, he's a total noddle. Noddle? He's not a model, but he could be if he wanted to be. <laughs> not to mention smart, funny, charming. I said those two in the wrong order, but never mind. <laughs> he sounds like a dream, Regina. Almost as good as Count Travis Antonio. Gretchen, you don't have to come in Regina in the hotel room. But it makes me feel better knowing Regina is around. What are you going to wear on your date with Justin, green -eyed? The place we're going to is low key, so you really have a chance to stand out. Wear something bold, sexy, elegant. I like the sound of that. Tonight, you're getting your groove back and you need to wear your heart on your sleeve. Plus, you have to show Justin that you've got style on lockdown. Sexy designer dress or t-shirts and jeans? Hmm, let's have a look at the sexy designer dress. That's gonna be the gem option. To be honest, mm. ooh la la. And maybe I'm not gonna use gems because I'm not entirely sure yet. But Gina, I am not saying this lightly. You have outfetched yourself. Let's just see how many gems it is first before we decide. 24. I mean, it's not... Um, I only have 109 left. Let's just have a little look at the t-shirt and jeans. That's enough. So can't wear that. Try something else. I'm going to have to wear that sexy designer dress. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Yeah, wear this dress on your date. 24 gems. All right, ladies. Our dates await. <laughs> I love Damien. Oh, here we are on our date. Wow, you know how to kite surf? I'm a beginner, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. No pun intended. <laughs> Do you like any water sports, Regina? Answer honestly, answer like Regina would. Oh, we should answer like Regina would, surely. Answer like Regina would. Does tanning on a raft count? <laughs> Oh, for sure. They're actually thinking of including tanning in the next Summer Olympics. I'll be a gold medalist. Or maybe bronze is more fitting. <laughs> so have you been to St Jezebel before? Uh, nope, but I hope to come back here again. So what's so funny? Every guy in this restaurant is staring at you right now. I guess I'm just not used to eating dinner with the most beautiful woman in town. Damien was right about this dress. Thanks, Justin. What were we talking about again? St Jezebel? Personally, I wish there was more time to explore the local culture. I feel like I've been in a bit of a tourist bubble. I wish we had time to check out the other side of the island. What's over there? It's a lot less developed. Not so many hotels and spring break tourists. So, ooh, what brings you to St Jezebel? Where are you from originally? When was your last relationship? Um, what brings you here? Let's ask him what brings. What brings you to St Jezebel? Same thing as everyone, I suppose. I just wanted a vacation from everyday life. Fair enough. I definitely wasn't expecting to meet anyone as special as you. <laughs> oh, here's Gretchen's date. So, Gretchen, tell me something about yourself. I don't know why I think he talks like this, but I think he does. <laughs> what do you want to know? Anything. Everything. 
that may take a while. I've been alive for like almost two decades. Good thing we have all night. Let's start at the beginning. When were you born? June 1st. You're a Gemini. You're into horoscopes. Who isn't? That's what I always say. My friend Regina thinks they're fake, but they're like my religion. And your parents? What are their names? Sharon and Jacob. Do they have middle names? Yeah, Deborah and Howard. Why is he writing it all down? This is a bit strange, right? So your parents are Jacob Howard and Sharon Deborah Weiner. That's right, you're such a good listener. You're really great at talking. I could talk to you all night. What's your mother's maiden name? What is he up to? Johnsonburg. Hmm. And the name of the street you grew up on? Springgate. She's no clue how she, she's just like, yeah, you can have all this private information about me. And what's your middle name? Nicole. How beautiful. And your social security number? Five 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 eight one one nine four two. Gretchen, come on. Lovely. So basically, now he's got all of her details. Her a social security de number, like the street she grew up on, which could be like a, a password type thing, or mother's maiden name, like. You know, like the questions that they ask you, what's your dad's middle name or whatever, the security questions and things. She's been played. Didn't have a clue, right? <laughs> right, it would just take me in anyway. That's literally the funniest story I've ever heard. And it's true, I swear. I believe you. You seem like an honest guy. I'm really happy I ran into you. Me too. You are such a fresh, a fresh, a fresh, a You are such a breath of fresh air. That may be the sea breeze. <laughs> I mean, seriously, how obnoxious are all these frats that have taken over St. Jezebel? Uh-huh. Aren't they the worst? They're, all they do is party and yell and litter the beach with red plastic cups. Can you excuse me for a second? He is one of those frats, right? So, how's it going? Smoothie Guy is amazing and hot and everything I thought he would be, but he hates frats. Yikes. Yeah, and not just like eye roll hate, it's more like social media rant hate. <laughs> Does he know you're the president of Theta Pi Chi? Not yet. You should tell him the truth, it's a harmless lie. You should tell him the truth, right? You should tell him the truth. Easy for you to say, Regina. <laughs> Why don't you go yank off your wig in front of Justin and tell him your real name? How dare you talk to Regina like that? Stand down, Gretchen. <laughs> Luckily, I can be my true self with Travis Antonio. He likes me for who I am. Dopey. Guys, I think I may have found true love. At least we're all enjoying ourselves. I take it it's going well with Justin then? Yeah, I haven't even thought about Mika once tonight. Finally, your breakup blues were not a good look. Hmm. Ooh, campfire. Are we going to go over to the real Regina? Oh, yeah, Chaz. Ah, somebody help me, help me. What's he got himself into? What the hell is that? What's going on? Did you hear that scream? No, I just heard you. Somebody was screaming, I swear. Chaz, are you awake? Chaz? Where is he? Chaz? Chaz, are you out there? Chaz, this isn't funny. Where are you? Did the scream sound like Chaz? I don't know, I've never heard him scream before. Did it sound ignorant and offensive? I'm really freaked out, Janice. Look on the bright side. He's probably not coming back. <laughs> Teddy eyes. Where are we going? Well, 
if you'll excuse us, Miss Weeners and I are going to my condo to enjoy a glass of bubbly. Don't wait up. Smoothie guy, I mean JD, is taking me to go swim in his favourite waterfall. I'd invite you guys, but there's only room for two on my motorcycle. See ya. Pleasure meeting you, Justin. Hmm. Just the two of us. And then there were two. I guess so. I have to say, you really lit up the whole restaurant in that dress. Nothing I love more than a girl with a sense of style. Thanks, Justin. We should keep this date going. How about we go for a moonlit walk on the beach? Ah, I so want to go for a walk for 30 gems. I'm not going to though. I'm going to save those gems for something else. Sounds very tempting, but let's call it a night. That's a sweet offer, but I should head home. Your call. I had a really nice time with you tonight, Regina. Be sweet, play hard to get. Let's be sweet. I had a really nice time too. I hope we can hang out again before spring break's over. Let's make it happen. Ah, Is that the end? I feel like maybe... Yeah, there we go. That is the end of episode seven. I wonder what is going to happen next time. I hope Chaz is alright. I mean, he was a bit irritating to the girls, wasn't he? But I hope he's okay. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!